Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we're going to be creating, shuffling and dealing a pack of cards to two players. Exactly like a sort of gambling situation, we'll be dealing two cards and and then we'll just leave it there for the time being. Maybe in the next video or, or a video later on we'll start to see if we can create a game of like Blackjack or 21. So, what we're going to do first is import uh, the itertools function and the random function, and then we're going to create the deck using the itertools, shuffle the deck using the random function, and then create player one and player two. So, let's begin. Firstly, import itertools and random. Very simply, type in import. And it's tools import. There's an error message here because it's not being used. Then I'm just going to unhide these doc strings just to show you what I do. And let's put some more in here. And that is creating the second player. So, so there we go. So there are the different steps there. To this here, I've used the list. We're going to list the iter tools dot. We use the dot product because what this does is it finds every. It prints out every possible combination of the word of of numbers or letters within its range. So it will find, it will do every combination of this and this together. So what we want is then we want to be able to have the, the what this says is we're going to have, say, the two of spades, two of clubs, two of diamonds and two of hearts. And then the three of spades, three of clubs, three of diamonds, three of hearts. We're also going to have, in this case, the one of spades, one of clubs, one of diamonds, one of hearts, which we will get back to um, um, at a later stage of this video because actually it's not a 1 it should be an ace same with 11, 12 and 13 it should be jack, queen, king and then let's print that to see if we're getting on the right track and here you are you can see on the output if you go down to the uh, bottom right you can see the combination there it seems to be working okay So then we're going to shuffle the deck of cards. So we're going to use a random function for this. We'll do random, and then very nicely is a function called shuffle, which does exactly what it says. So now we can. So notice this has one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, and so on. We're going to shuffle it. And there we go. You can see here that's shuffled. It's no longer in numerical order. So it's been shuffled, and you can changes every time. As you can see there, just look at the first few and the last few, it just changes every time. So that's working well so far. Now we're going to draw cards. So for I in range, it should be A to A. Uh, that is actually no longer viable. That was in my first set of codes before I introduce the players. So that can actually be discarded and no longer used because I modified it to add the players. So now we're gonna create our first player. So what I did was I used a function and then use a loop within it to we don't need that because that's up here. We don't need this. Let's get rid of that. But I like to keep my hashtags right on the far left. So now we have 
we define the player and for the loop between 0 and 2 we're going to print we're going to basically print or deal those cards and then we're going to remove them so that player 2 can't get them so you've got card deck dot remove i because we're looping around i in range n which will be specified later on I'm going to do exactly the same but for j in range because otherwise you have to print out the same cards and then we're going to specify here how many cards you want to print it out so and there we go you see we have different cards lots of hearts there you can just keep doing this and you can see it's a random selection every time but now we want to make it more realistic because you're not going to have 1 to 13. You're going to have, you know, ace, 2, 3, 4 to 10 and then jack, queen, king. So let's go back up to card where we um, defined card deck. And as you can see here, I've got another card deck defined here. So let's enable that. And we do exactly the same thing, except instead of range, I've actually put in um, a string, a list of strings. I've put two, three, four in strings because otherwise the ace, jack, queen, king won't work. And then let's rerun this. And here we are, straight away, the first one. All numbers, all, all, all of them are jack, queen, king, or ace. That's quite funny. There we go, you see. And we've essentially, what we've done is we've just dealt two cards to each player. So I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, check it out again. Keep re-watching it if you don't quite understand it. And check out my other videos on Excel and Python uh, on my YouTube channel, Endless Rising. Subscribe if you like it. And then I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Uh,